I'm going to quickly show you how to put a health bar above your player. So you can see in the example here there's a green bar above the player and if I walk into this enemy the bar goes down a little bit and if I keep walking into the enemy I've got a, a tiny bit of uh, you know a flashing second of invincibility and you can see that the health bar goes down it changes color and I have left the actual health value um, up on the top here just so that you can see um, and as you, as you can see if it goes down really really low it turns completely from, uh, from green all the way down to red and then if I finally hit here I can trigger some sort of game over you can do whatever you like there obviously we would hide this but I just wanted to show you how it worked with that uh, so let's look at the code quickly so the first thing to do is get the health working and the way that I got the health working is uh, oops, sorry, um, is this code here. Uh, feel free to pause that and use it for your game. But basically, uh, all it's doing is every frame, uh, it's checking for enemy contact and also running the regenerate um, health button. Uh, one thing to be, oh, one, sorry, block. One thing to be aware here is that um, the repeat five times here to, to do the invincibility flash, that will stop this whole link. So it'll stop checking for touching the enemy um, and it'll stop regenerating the health. And that's really good because we don't want those things to happen when we're in that invincibility state. So uh, that's why I've designed it this way. Um, it actually stops the whole block. The second thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to uh, draw the health bar. Now the health bar is uh, making a new sprite and you actually um, add the, go down here and click here um, and add a new pen uh, extension and then you'll be able to do the things here in the uh, in the pen tool uh, and uh, basically setting the size those sorts of things should be uh, pretty self-explanatory um, when I receive draw the health bar set the color and draw the bar and that will happen every frame the reason I don't have a forever loop here is because if I do just do it in a forever loop then sometimes the bar doesn't move at exactly the same time as the player which looks super bad. Uh, so what I've done is in the player code, if I go back here, at the end of the player movement code, the last thing that I do, and it's important you put it in the movement code, after the movement code broadcasts the health bar. So that means the player will move and then the health bar will be drawn perfectly above them. That's very, very important. Uh, so I just realized I probably should have called this health bar. So the health bar is just an empty uh, sprite. So you hover over here and click on the paint icon to make an empty sprite because what you see is not actually the sprite, it's the pen drawing that the invisible sprite does. Now, uh, just to show you what happens each time here, we erase the previous health bar from the previous frame. We go to the player, so it'll go in the middle here. Change Y by 40, that goes up to here. It, depending on the size of your character, you might like to change that number. Then you need to decide how many pixels across your health bar is. So I've done mine by uh, 40 pixels across. So that's why there's the number 40 is in here. And that's why I've gone negative 20 so that the bar is centered. So it starts 20 behind here and goes 20 past and that's 40 pixels. So let's say I wanted to change, make a larger health bar. Uh, let's say I wanted it to be 50. So I would change this number to 50 and this number to half of that, which is 25. And now I have a larger, oops, a larger health bar. Uh, and a slightly larger health bar. Um, and the uh, then basically what it does is it goes to this position and then it puts pen down and then changes the X across to the other side and in the process draws the health bar. Now this over here is a really, really, um, you know, advanced little trick, but I think it works super well. Um, and that is if you set your health to be um, out of 100, um, then you can basically set the color to be your health divided by three because zero happens to be sort of like this really uh, dark red color. And uh, in fact, we don't even need this for the moment. I'll just show some values here. So zero, if I click there, um, oops, why is that? Oh, because we're not still running this. Okay, zero uh, is this really dark red color. And um, uh, and divided by three, so that'd be about 33. And it turns out that 33 is this lovely green color. So if your health is out of 100 and you say health divided by three, uh, then you'll actually get this really, really nice um, sort of 
automatic change where it starts starts green and as it gets you know darker it goes down to orange and red it's red if you only have a tiny bit of health left um, now the reason that I have this one here is it doesn't matter what color at all but what does matter is the brightness and the saturation so if even if I'm on red here I mean it really doesn't matter I'll show you I could be on purple it makes no difference but if the if I change the brightness and the saturation a little bit um, then that will uh, make my green health bar um, or whatever color it is, that'll change the brightness and saturation on that. So if I make it fully, uh, you know, super light, then my health bar here is going to be super light. So have a play around with those things. The color here does not matter, but the brightness and the saturation do. Okay, uh, hopefully that helps. Let's just quickly go over the code again. So this is the player code that I used, and I might make that a little bit bigger. If you would like to pause and use that code, oops. That is the player code for the actual health, which I'm going to hide now. Then the second thing I did was at the end of my movement code, I broadcast draw health bar. And then in the health bar code, um, which is just an empty sprite with the pen, uh, this is what I have for the health bar, but you can change some of those numbers to suit yours. Good luck and Happy coding.